Hey, Baxter, mm? Dibs, listen to this one. It's called Just In Time. At eight o'clock on Monday morning, Tom was fast asleep and snoring. He lay in an untidy heap, chasing dragons in his sleep. At five past eight, where's Tom, Mum said. That lazy boy, he's still in bed. She put cold water in a cup and went upstairs to wake him up. At ten past eight, Tom blinked his eyes, rubbed his hair with some surprise, yawned and shivered, scratched his nose and hunted round to find his clothes. At quarter past, Tom found his socks underneath his building blocks. He began to build a red machine to catch the dragons in his dream. Come on, cried Dad. Enough's enough. It's twenty past. Will you get up? Your breakfast's waiting, so is mine. I want to get to work on time. Tom, dressed in haste, tripped on the cat and got downstairs in nothing flat. It was, when Mum had filled his plate, exactly twenty-five past eight. At half past, Dad was at the door and Tom was busy looking for his gym shoes, lunchbox, gloves and coat, his maths book, spellings and his note. Tom found his shoes. Mum checked his maths. Dad saved his lunchbox from the cat. At twenty-five to nine, light-hearted, they went to get the engine started. It didn't take them very long to see that there was something wrong. At twenty-two, Dad groaned and said, Come on, we'll have to run instead. With thudding hearts and pounding feet, Tom and Dad raced up the street. Puffing, panting, muscles straining. At quarter to, it started raining. Tom lost a glove. Dad dropped his case. These things can happen in a race. They both were running out of time and out of breath at ten to nine. But there it was, the school at last. Tom gave a shout, Dad gave a gasp. At five to nine they reached the gate. The school bell rang, Tom wasn't late. At nine o'clock on Monday morning, Tom found classwork rather boring. Instead of handing crayons round, he called a passing dragon down. They saw high up above the mist to lands where time does not exist. Bye. Ooh. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> me and you, you and me, we And you and me will be back tomorrow morning at ten o'clock. Oh, hi, Linda.